Hi ladies, I'm Julie Colburn and I am an Executive Vice President here with Ruby Ribbon and I'm sitting in um, Topsail Beach, North Carolina, looking at the ocean and spending time with some of the leadership on my personal team and we've had a wonderful time here today, um, actually over the past three days and today I'm interviewing one of our Associate Directors and her name is Lisa Langdale. Hi Lisa! How you feeling? Have you Good. had fun? Yeah. yeah. Good time? Been Wonderful. resting, relaxing, laughing? Have you cried? Mm. Have we not made you cry yet? Not yet. Okay, we gotta get that done. I'm not in a bad way. <laughs> That's what, woo! Right? Right? We have so much fun doing those kind of things. So I am so glad that you were here today and I can't wait to share your story a little bit. So what were you doing before um, Ruby Ribbon came into your life? I was in business for myself. I was a nail tech for almost 40 years, 39 years. Wow. And um, I was really I, very successful at it. Um, but as the time was going on, my body was beginning to say, you can't work as many hours. Da, da, da. So I was ready to get out of the chair, to be real honest with you. But I didn't have any clue of what I could or would ever do to be replace able to it. do to do mm -hmm. that. Yeah. yeah. So almost 40 years. Yeah. yeah. So I could see when you say the chair, because if you're sitting your, in one position, and did you even have, I, I think I remember when I met you, you had clients back to back to back to back. So every it wasn't hour. like you had a chance to take a walk around the building or whatever. Every hour, every day that I work. How's your body feel now? Much better. Awesome. I love it. Awesome. I love it. So what made you decide to join Ruby Ribbon? Well, I had, had breast reduction. Had I known before breast reduction about Ruby Ribbon, I may not, not have. have. Not well, that's a pretty powerful not statement. To. I've had back surgery, so I went and and sought that, and they did it, and it's wonderful. I love it. I would do it again if I didn't know anything about Ruby Ribbon. You know? Well, you know, I don't want to make that statement because you know a lot of women that might be watching this might be in that same position. The back issues were caused from your breasts. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people who don't have large breasts don't even understand that. That's right. Um, so you might be watching, going, "I'm thinking about it." Don't, because like you just said, if you knew, you wouldn't. So, That's right. I, but, I really believe that I wouldn't have been, and, and, but anyway, I had had the surgery and I wasn't healing well in some spots and, uh, my friend Pam had some that she had ordered from you, um, a couple, a year or so before and we went to Disney and she said, I'm going to bring those so you can try them, see if that'll help. For all the walking. Mm -hmm. So I put it on that morning and when, when we met for, after we got dressed, I said, I don't know where you got these, but you might as well order more because you're not getting this one back. <laughs> A long story short about that, the funny thing is, is she had ordered the wrong sizes, and when when we got into the business and started measuring people and looking at people, I, I told him, I said, I don't think we're get, I don't think we're in the right size. We were in two sizes too big. Oh, but, and we had ordered them, but we didn't know that anyway. But so, obviously, they still work. They still so that's work. a true testimony they of you work. might be in the wrong size and you still love it. That's right. So that's they, awesome. They they worked and and that's that's how I found out about it and loved it and love I love what we get to do. And so you decided to join Ruby Ribbon? I joined, yeah, I joined Ruby Ribbon and within about two months I realized I could make more money and I could stay home and I could be, and I could do what I'm doing now. Something that you had been doing for almost 40 years on a regular basis with a big clientele, obviously, yes. if you're back to back to back. Were you working six days a week, five days a week? Five. Five days a week, four but sitting there though, on yeah, back to back. Yeah. Comment. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know if you heard that. hours a day. She made more money doing Ruby Ribbon than a job, because it's a job, mm -hmm. even though you, because you were tied to that chair. That's right. Personal business, but tied to a chair, right? Yes, you yes. have a lot of freedom here? Oh, yes. That's what have what you I found love. that you love the most? Uh, well, the freedom and not having to get up and go out to a job every morning. I had to set my clock every morning of my life to get up to go to work. Wow. And I would start at seven a lot of mornings and go till six or seven at night, you know. So I don't have to get up to a clock anymore. That's one thing I love. And I love what the, the camaraderie, the sisterhood that we have. In, in sisterhood the, is such a good word, isn't it? Yes. So yes. many women need that. And yes. even if, you know, you don't need the money to replace a job, the sisterhood alone is amazing. That's right. That's right. So, that is awesome. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about doing Ruby Ribbon? Um, the smiles. 
and, and honestly, nice. in the end, I get to, uh, a lot of, even if people don't buy for some reason, whatever their reasons are, I try to give them every option they can have, half off coupons, whatever. But if they can't, I'll, you know, I'll say, oh, I'm going to be praying for you. I've got a lady right now. I don't know oh, her. Oh, that's a prayer ministry. Right. I don't know her. She couldn't buy for me, but she said, I'm, you know, blah, 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 my son, whatever. I said, I'm going to be praying for him. So she gave me his name. So I get to touch people that way. And that's very dear to me. Anyway. Well, you know what? You just hit something that a lot of people may not even um, put two and two together because I've been in direct sales now for 26 years. And when I first joined direct sales, I didn't understand we could have a ministry here. Mm -hmm. And you're using this also as a prayer ministry. And that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. I love that. Even they, if we don't get to touch. We even, touch exactly. Touch in the and in the world we're living in, sometimes that doesn't happen. We don't that's get right. to touch. Thank you so much. What a great job. Thank you.